Hi, and welcome to the third and final video of this Getting Started series with Pyara. My name's Cuba, I work as an apprentice software engineer at Pyara, and in this video I'm going to walk through the process of creating and deploying a basic Hello World application on Pyara Micro. If you haven't seen the first two parts of this series yet, I recommend you go back and watch those first, as they're going to walk you through what we'll be coding and what software you'll need to install for this episode. With that said, let's get straight on and create our app. So, we're into NetBeans. First things first though, I've created a directory where I want my projects to be. In this directory I've also placed our downloaded copy of Pyara Micro so that it's easy for us to get to when deploying. Let's head to the top and create a new project. We're going to choose Java with Maven and Web Application. We'll give our project a suitable name, we're going to call mine Hello World. And you can set an initial version and custom package naming if you'd like to. We don't want to select a server and we want to make sure that we're going to be using Java E8 or higher for this project as stated in previous episodes of the tutorial. Once we finish, you can see that Maven does some stuff down in the bottom console. We can actually deploy this application straight away and see results that we're looking for. We right click on the project in the hierarchy and click clean and build. And then once the log reads build successful at the bottom, we'll head over to a terminal window to deploy the build. So I've opened a terminal window in the directory I mentioned earlier. In this directory, we have the project folder that I created and we also have Pyara Micro. To deploy to Pyara Micro, we simply need to type java-jar followed by the name of the Pyara Micro file. We then need to type dash dash deploy. This is the flag for showing that we want to deploy an application to the server. And then type the directory that the server is at either from root or relative to our current location. Once this has been entered, we can hit return and the server will start outputting all of the information about the current runtime of the server. Eventually, you should see that a URL appears in the output log from the console. If we head to this URL in our browser, you can see now that we have Hello World being printed on the screen. And simply, that's how we deploy an application on Pyara. If you're interested, Let's dive back in and see how the application is actually working. So we can see that we have a few files in the project already. We have this index.html file, and we also have these things called uh, resources, JAXRS resources, which we'll take a look at in a moment. If we double click into the index.html file, we can see that this is by default where everything is being called from. Simply a basic HTML file that prints hello world as a heading. So, what are these JAXRS resources for? Well, if we click to look inside one of these, we can see that there is a flag pointing towards a specific path at the top. If we make some basic tweaks to the method that's already in here, we can tell it to return a string to print out on the screen, as so. Now, if we rebuild the code and redeploy it to Pyro Micro like we did earlier, we can head to the URL that it prints out forward slash java e8 as the resource is named in our project and you can see that this has given us the output that has been coded in our method this is very versatile and there are plenty of other tutorials out there for how to get more in depth for this so that about sums up this video Thank you for watching this series, I hope it was helpful, and if you have any questions relating to any of the parts in this series, or where you can take this further, feel free to leave a comment down below, or send us a message or email through our contact details on the website. Thanks very much, and we'll see you again soon.